Time now for your forewarned weather with Cedric Haynes. Well, we're not in Kansas anymore, and that's probably a good thing when it comes to the severe weather that we saw across portions of Utah yesterday. What an amazing sight yesterday afternoon. Of course, we forewarn you, those strong to severe thunderstorms will be moving in. Hey, quarter size hail showing up. Look at this. This is a picture that was sent in here to the website, and you can see the rings around some of these hailstones. That's an indication of how many times they go up and down, kind of juggled around in the air, and they get larger because of that. Here's some of that hail falling. This was sent in from Chris Williams in South Jordan yesterday afternoon. You can see the hailstones falling over the pool. Thankfully, it looks like he has the pool covered there. But, yeah, I'll tell you what, this hail was doing some damage across parts of the region, and I just can't get over this shot. This was from Linden at around 640. It looks like a shot from February with the hail just covering the interstate. And, I mean, they actually, UDOT actually had to call out the snow plows yesterday afternoon to clear some of this hail off of the interstates there because you can see it was funneling all the traffic into one lane because the hail was just piling up on the sides of the street. Here's one more shot from Utah County, the heavy rain rushing down the roadways in the neighborhoods like a whitewater rafting experience. And then on the grassy surfaces, you see that hail accumulating there on the sides. And look at the rain and the wind coming down. This is in Provo Beach bench here. And you can see that heavy rain and wind messing up visibility. Hey, we got a lot of water from these storms the past couple of days. Typically for the month of August, we pick up about a half an inch of rain. Over the past two days, we picked up almost an inch of rainfall in Salt Lake City. So we are well above average the first time since about April, where we've had such an active weather pattern. We'll take it for sure, but not the severe weather. All right, now in southwest Utah, this is from our Black Desert Sky Camera. Not a lot of severe weather down there yesterday. In fact, a lot of sunshine, an indi indication of the drier air that's beginning to try to work its way into the northern half of the state. So today, instead of seeing that big spike in precipitation chances this afternoon, notice it stays in that slight chance range here as it go throughout this afternoon. So I think the overall drier trend will begin to develop. Let me show you what that looks like on Futurecast. Again, during the day, we're mostly quiet here during the morning hours here. We'll get some clouds trying to stream in as we get towards the lunchtime frame, but nothing that's going to be more than partly cloudy skies. And then notice after lunchtime, yeah, we have a pop-up shower or two. The coverage and notice the widespread nature of it, not nearly as much as what we've seen the past couple of days. And notice the brunt of that will be from the Cache Valley and the Wasatch back heading into the Uintas. And by 7, 8 o'clock, most of that is pushing out of the state. So just not a ton of rainfall expected today. With that being said, we don't want to forget about our friends across the northeast from Logan down towards Vernal and Manila over towards southwestern Wyoming. That's where we'll have the best chance of seeing a couple of those isolated storms today. And any storm that does form in this area could be strong with some of those uh, gusty winds and maybe some of that small hail very similar what we saw today. Temperatures not bad this morning. 49 in Evanston, 43 in Ely. We've got 59 in Delta, 61 in Hanksville, 56 currently in Blanding. As we look at your highs today, below average again across the north, upper 80s to low 90s. Highs only around 100 across the southwestern half of the state. So that monsoonal pattern breaks down this afternoon. We get drier air moving in with a more west to east pattern, and that's going to stick around with us through the end of the week. But by the weekend, we'll start to see that southwest flow developing again. Yes, that's going to bring a return to more monsoonal moisture chances here across the uh, Wasatch Front and across southwest Utah. So for your Wednesday in St. George, highs near 100 degrees. We warmed up to about 102 through Friday with drier conditions, but here comes that moisture again as we get towards the weekend and to next week. And then as we take you along the Wasatch Front, again, a chance of isolated storms primarily for the Wasatch back as you get up towards the Uintas and over towards uh, uh, southwestern Wyoming. But the chances and the coverage is going to be much less today than what we've seen the past couple of days, which is great news. Highs upper 80s to low 90s. And then notice as we get towards the end of the week, it's quiet before more moisture arrives next week.